Once again, we turn to the Gospel of Luke as we turn to another of the most famous parables of Jesus, the one we know as the Good Samaritan. Now, technically, it's not a parable at all. It is what they call an exemplum, which is a Latin word that means example. In other words, a little story given to us to present an example for us to go and do likewise, as Jesus says at the very end to the man who has been questioning him. Now, like all the parables of Jesus, it starts in a world that was very familiar, at least to his listeners. And that is the road going from Jerusalem down through the Judean desert, heading towards Jericho. This was a much, much traveled road and, and familiar to all of those to whom Jesus is speaking. And it was also quite a dangerous journey as you came down from Jerusalem down to, through the desert it, towards Jericho. It, there, there were robbers and all kinds of dangers and pitfalls. So it's a world that, that his listeners would have known well. And Jesus takes that familiar world and turns it on its head in a quite dramatic way. Because for the Jews, Samaritans were absolute outcasts. They would have nothing to do with them. So you have to understand what the relationship between Jews and Samaritans was. It was toxic. So Jesus takes that toxic relationship, plays with it in the parable in order to subvert conventional understandings of the kingdom of God and to generate new and brilliant insight into what the kingdom actually is and how we might experience it in new and deeper ways.